Hey there, everyone. John Flores from On The Level. I'm here with special guest and world traveler, Tracy Charles. Say hi, Tracy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Tracy has been a uh, contributor to the magazine this year. We're lucky enough to have her. Uh, she's been telling stories since January um, about starting over on two wheels is her series. Uh, she had one story in January, February, another in March, April, and I just got a, th a peek of the third installment for May, June, and it's as good as the other two. Um, so if you are a member, I hope you've been reading and enjoying the stories. If you're not a member, please consider joining. But uh, Tracy is actually now, you haven't moved for a while, have you? And relatively speaking, where are you now? <laughs> so I am, I've been staying still, but I'm in Medellin, Colombia. And I got back to Columbia at the beginning of December and I've just been riding, just go, 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 go. And suddenly I needed a break. Um, I needed a chiropractor. Uh, my back was busting out on me. I wanted to get my teeth cleaned. I wanted to just do a little shopping and catch up on stuff. So I've just been laid back, eating junk food, watching Netflix and not doing much of anything. <laughs> Pretty much like everyone else right now, actually. <laughs> Not much different from the rest of the world. It's funny because most people um, live sedentary lives for 50 weeks of the year and then travel for two or something like that. You're doing the opposite. You're traveling <laughs> the and then opposite. for you, your vacation is, is sitting still, basically. Yes. Yes. Some R&R, &R, major R&R. &R. But luckily, I was able to get everything caught up and... I'm getting a little bit bored now, so I think I may even, I've rented this Airbnb for a month, and I think I may head out before the month's over. Uh, okay. Um, you doing some uh, bike maintenance, bike repair, and so forth as well while you're uh, stopped? I did. I did. Um, even though she hasn't gotten a bath yet, I, I wanted to make sure the idle, I had some issues with the idle sensor a week or two ago, so I just wanted to make sure that was working, and and just give her a once over, tighten up everything that's loose. And that's, that's about it. It's been reliable, huh? It has been a super reliable bike. I have no complaints. Now you're on the BMW F 700 GS or the 750? Yes. No, it's a 700 GS. Yes. Yeah. And it's it's been, all. it's been a great bike. I had some replaced the steering bearings in Panama. That's over a year ago. And I still got, I've had to replace the tires and the idle sensor went on me, but I've had no other issues. So I've been very lucky with this bike. How many miles do you have on it now, roughly? I think it's close to 80,000 now. Wow. Yeah, somewhere very, very cool. So um, as I see on some of your social media, uh, so many people are stuck at home and living vicariously through your travels. Um, and as we talked about, it's, it's likely even more so during this pandemic. Um, so when you started riding, did you have uh, people that you lived vicariously through that inspired you and, and maybe helped you or made you think of the possibility of you doing a trip like this yourself? Yes, definitely. Um, social media played a huge role in that. To start me off riding, I have to thank a couple of my girlfriends close to home because they got me onto the bike that I never thought I was going to do. But social media is where I believe that I might be able to do, do what I'm doing to ride around the world in the motorbike. We've got people like, there was Tim Burke. I was the first, I think that piqued my interest. And then as I get into the women riders, long distance riders, we've, we've got, you know, Nora Lee, from Itchy Boots, we've got Kinga, we've got Rosie Gabriel, who is another Canadian. And then we've just got all the fierce women riders that whether they do iron butts or short rides or they race bikes, just, yeah, social media was huge in giving me the encouragement I needed to, to do this. And it was, it was important to see uh, female role models to, to help Absol you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, no matter what, people still consider us the weaker sex in, in most of the world. So just watching these these badass women go out there and, and do this. Uh, yeah, that, I, it, it was huge, huge in boosting my confidence. Yeah, that's great. And it's like it's interesting because you're doing this thing that most people, most most human beings and most mo motorcyclists are think is just so 
so wild and outrageous and epic. Uh -huh. um, but what I like about your storytelling is that um, you are willing to appear less than heroic. You know, in this in this latest story, uh, which we're editing now, you talk about loneliness. You talk, and and we talked earlier about homesickness. I mean, it's not all unicorns and rainbows on the road, I would imagine. And 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 you're willing to talk about those things. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, like you can post all the beautiful photos you want to, and and some people do, and they don't really talk about the journey. But there's there's lots of stuff. There's times when I get so lonely, I just want to jump on a plane and go home. And if it wasn't for COVID, I'm sure there's a couple of times I may have done just that. But I get homesick. Uh, I miss my friends. I miss my daughter. Um, I, there's a lot of stuff I miss, and I, sometimes it gets to you a little bit more. And that can usually be resolved with a, you know, a FaceTime chat uh, or some emails or messages um, or, or just going out and mingling with people. I find the last couple of days in this Airbnb, I think I'm starting to get bored from sitting too much and I'm finding myself becoming homesick again. So that, that to me is a clue to, to get up and move on. But no, there's, there's definitely <laughs> lots of times where, where I get homesick and, and lonely, believe it or not. <laughs> And, and it seems like right now the uh, the solve for that is to get on the bike and ride some more. Yeah, take your mind off it. If, if I'm not busy, that's when all the thoughts creep into my head and I, I start missing people or I see people's stories or I see my daughter's photos. I'm like, oh, I want to go back home. So oh, let's take a minute. Say hi to your daughter here. On, hi, on the... Jamie Lynn. You better listen to this kiddo. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, I've enjoyed following your story. Um, I know the readers of the magazine have enjoyed following the story. Um, you're going to continue to write for us. What other platforms can people follow you on? Instagram, YouTube, let us know. Yeah, so Instagram would be TLC underscore travels. Um, and I just recently got into YouTube, so it's still a work in progress, but that's Tracy Lynn Charles on my YouTube. Um, that would be great if you could uh, check out some of the videos and give me a follow on Instagram. It would be greatly appreciated for sure. And we will, uh, we will put that information on the screen and uh, put Thank links you. on for everyone to follow. Anything else you want to uh, say before we say goodbye to everyone, Tracy? I don't think so. Just everybody stay safe and let's hope that the world gets back on its feet soon so that everyone can get back out there traveling. Very cool. Thank you very much, Tracy. Thank you so much, John. Take care. Talk to Bye you now. soon.